Sarah, and this week I have a special guest. It's my husband, Louie. It's me. Showing you guys five foods you must try when visiting New York. And a lot of these dishes are very iconic, not just right. to New York, but to the United States. So this yeah. is especially relevant if you're not from the United States, because we're going to be covering some food that you seriously must try, because you can only get the quality here. But we also have a very special announcement. What is that, Louie? That announcement is that we'll be starting our own food tours led by yours truly. It's me. Yay. So Louis truly really like the perfect person to be giving this tour because he's obsessed Thanks. with food in the best way possible, of course. So we're going to be visiting some of the tasty food scenes in New York City. You learn what makes New York City's food one of the most diverse in the world. With immigration being a big key to its variety, we'll learn how some foods got here, the history of how it shaped New York City, and how these iconic food items remain till today. So between foodie stops, we'll share the fascinating true stories of the Brooklyn Bridge, Dumble's industrial past, and much more. So come walk with us and try some of the best food in the city, and we'll enjoy some breathtaking skyline views as well. Yes. So it'll be a really fun food tour. And if you want to book, you can book via the link below. We're starting the tours in November. That's right. Because so, Louie just passed his tour guide license. Woo! I feel so accomplished, yeah. seriously. <laughs> well, let's go celebrate that by trying yeah. some iconic foodie spots that we won't be showing you on the tour, obviously, because right. those are the <laughs> secret spots. Yes. <laughs> so we'll see you at the first food that you must try when you visit New York City. For sure. Bye. See ya. One of the all-American things that you should definitely try when you're in the U.S. is Mac and cheese, and it literally does not get any more authentic than like mac and cheese, especially uh, traditionally for the U.S. and in New York. Uh, it was pretty much invented in uh, in the U.S. in the 1930s. Uh, it's technically its roots are Italian, um, but today we're going to be trying one from Jacob's Pickles here in Time Out Market, and this one it's made with bechamel sauce and then three different kinds of cheeses: uh, cheddar, white, and yellow. Oh. So it's like really, really rich, at least from like what I'm observing right now. And I so it's like a it. gourmet mac and cheese. Yeah, for Even sure. Even though mac and cheese, like traditionally, is not a gourmet thing, I no, feel like, like they do this really well, and that's yeah. why we want to feature this place. It's the best oh mac and God. cheese I've had in the city by far. You can tell like it's really creamy and really nice and yeah. like melty everything. All right, that's enough though. I'm gonna try it now. <laughs> that's <laughs> a big bite. Oh my God. That's so good. Also, after this, you definitely are gonna want to take a nap. So. <laughs> Well, this is in the Time Out Market, which is right next to the Brooklyn Bridge. So you could just eat this and then walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. And that's the best way to walk across the Brooklyn Bridge oh, yeah. anyway, is to cross With a full from, stomach. Yeah. <laughs> but also to cross from Dumbo to Manhattan versus Manhattan mm -hmm. to Dumbo. Because if you're walking to Manhattan, then you see those beautiful skylines. Yeah. We're here at Tompkins Square Bagels, and this is the best spot to get bagels in the city. What makes these bagels so special in your opinion? They're like being made right there, by the way. Yeah, um, it's cool. You can watch it while you're waiting in line. Yeah. yeah. So there's like a whole team back there, like you're waiting in line, and you're being entertained at the same time, pretty much. But you can get the bagels right over here. So fresh. They're so yeah. fresh. They literally like make them and serve them immediately. Yeah. We got the classic plain bagel just Absolutely. to make it simple especially if you've never had like a good quality bagel like getting a simple one first is a great start you can get it with cream cheese or butter those are like the traditional ways they were pretty much like brought over like in the 1800s again because of the you know immigration a lot of people immigrated from Europe and they said that that's really where the roots of it is like in Poland and um, someone you know some Jewish people might have brought them over as well so there's a big, big history about it um, and how they came from Europe. And now they're here and they're here to stay because people love them so much. Yeah, bagel. Let's try the bagel. I know for sure that we're going to split this in half. This is so much cream cheese. Yeah. But oh. it's nice and fluffy. I think it's whipped cream cheese and I love that about that. One thing awesome. I want to point out, if you come here, make sure you bring cash because it's cash only. Also come early because the lines are crazy. We're here at noon. Yeah. It, it like was like a 20 were, minute wait. Yeah. That's a good bagel. Mm -hmm. The cream Real cheese nice. is so fluffy. Take a look at that. These bagels 
are better than most bagel places in New York. So another thing that makes New York City's, you know, pizza and bagels like we're having right now so special is because of the water. The New York City water has a perfect balance of like some elements that people really, you know, they uh, it makes it just taste so unique. And that's really what's unique about the pizza and the bagels. Uh, we have one other iconic thing that we're adding in to this spot. Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. <laughs> It's like along the same lines as having a burger or a hot dog. Peanut butter and jelly, another one of those like classic food items. They're really popularized in like the 1940s after everyone came back from the war. Oh. Yeah, because they were used as rations for soldiers too. Peanut butter um, and jelly was? Yeah, every child I remember does have them. Growing so. up, like I used to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah. I don't know if they had that in Guatemala though. No, <laughs> actually no, they had jelly sandwiches. I don't think they would have really like peanut butter and jelly. Good. Salty, it's sweet, and you have a little bit of the crunch from the bread. Forget it. You're Delicious. Combo heaven. Yeah. Right. There you go. My other half. It's like Aww. a little bit toasted too. All right, she didn't like, even hear me. Oh. <laughs> good. Good combo. The next stop that we chose was Bleecker Street Pizza. And uh, one of the reasons we chose it is because, I mean, it's obviously like super duper popular. And also um, you have to get pizza if you come to New York. Duh. <laughs> My favorite place is Prince Street Pizza, but this is a close second. And the line for Prince Street Pizza was about an hour. Yeah. So we came here, which is equally as delicious, to be honest with you. I think you. so. Yeah. In my opinion, I like this a little better because yeah. the Prince Street Pizza has the crust is literally like this thick. And I'm just. I like the I'm crust. trying to get full of other stuff, not just like bread. If but I mean, you, it is good, don't get me wrong. If you like thin crust Matter like this style, then you probably will like um, Blaker Street Pizza better. But right. if you like thicker crust, then you like Prince Street Pizza better. Yeah, Both so. are like New York City like iconic pizzerias, so you're good no matter what. This is their Nona Maria. Ooh, this, that looks so fresh. Yeah. So Good this is what they're most famous for. Here. So this one has tomato, basil, and some uh, cheese. It looks like, but white cheese. And uh, if you if you look very closely, <laughs> you'll see that the sauce is actually like on the top. It's just crushed tomatoes, technically, yeah. and then some cheese on Take the bottom. A look at that. Whoa. Up next, we have the chicken chipotle. It looks like this. It's great. I love like chipotle chicken anything because it has like a little bit of spiciness and smokiness. It's like too. shredded chicken too. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one. Classic. Come on, man. Classic pepperoni. Classic pepperoni. You got to do the classic pepperoni. You can't go wrong with it. The New York way is fold your pizza in half and then bite it. Mm. <laughs> this is a crunchy done. bottom with a, a nice chewiness. Try that one. Oh wow! Feeding me. <laughs> Mm. That one's it, right? Wow. That one's it. The Nona that Maria. That one's so good. And um, it tastes so fresh, too. I know. Yeah. Like, a little it's smoky, funny. a little spicy, yeah. no tomato sauce. So, our recommendations are either one of these. Yeah. Nona Maria, Chipotle, Chipotle chicken, chicken, and you're ready to take on New York after a slice of these. We are here at the burgery and the hamburger is such an iconic part of U.S. food. And so this is the best place for burgers in the city, in my opinion. I mean, they're juicy, they're delicious, you love oh, them. Yeah. Tell me about right. these delicious so, burgers. This, I love the way that they do it because they toast the buns yeah. and then you have like that really juicy piece of meat in the middle and all the layers of the burger. That's really what makes it What's a this burger. What's this one? This one has, has a lot going Chipotle. on here. Yeah, this one has chipotle and guacamole and jalapeno, so it's like a little spicy. Um, is that a I can't wait there? to try this. Yeah, I think it's just gonna add like a super extra crunch. And what's this one called? Wait, this, this is called El Chapo Burger. Oh yeah. yeah. This one is called Garfunkel and Towser. So this one has a dry aged beef. I mean, the best combination for a steak is definitely mushrooms and onions, so that's what that has, and then some Gruyere cheese on the top. It seems so simple, too, but it's going to be like an explosion of flavor. It really is. And this one's called Garfunkel and Towser because upstairs is my favorite speakeasy called Garfunkel's. It used to be a corrupt bank in the 1920s run by a guy, two guys, Garfunkel and Towser. And so that's what this burger is all about. All right, here you go. Oh, not that big of a mess. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. So tender. Some of the fattiness from his burger, like, and it's like a little salty too, so it's like, oh man. And that flavor, like, umami is just like. <laughs> Look at just how stacked this is. It's like a Krabby Patty. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so messy. <laughs> 
The okay. softness from the bun, the juiciness from the burger, the crispiness mm. from the grilled tortilla, that's tasty. That's good. Visit. Come here to the burgery after you get delicious burgers, head upstairs to Garfunkel, and uh, you just had the perfect afternoon, I have to say. Pretty much. All right. <laughs> we'll see you at the next spot. Make sure to walk it off. Hot dogs were invented here, so of course you have to try a hot dog when you come. The original hot dog is actually Nathan's hot dog. They have a whole yep. cart of hot dogs you can get all over the city. But the place we like to go, because we're super cheap, is Rudy's. I like to call it cost effective. Yes, uh, cost effective. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I love Rudy's. Though. I mean, they have uh, two of their beers that the, somebody else makes them for them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Rudy's Blonde and Rudy's Red. Yes. And you can get a picture for $8, and to me that's probably the best price we're ever gonna get ever. With the picture, you get a free hot dog. Yeah, well, That's... you get four hot dogs if you get a picture. What? Yeah, but if you get one pint, then it's just one hot dog. But still, <laughs> any amount of hot dogs is excellent. So. Yeah, I All just right. want to point out, you have to ask for the hot dog. They're not gonna give it True. to you automatically, and it's cash only? Cash only. Cash only. So I'm just gonna give you this. Are you ready Thanks, for this? Sarah, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> a hot dog is a hot dog. Very good. It is, that's why we choose here. Though Nathan's is the original. Yeah. But why not have a beer with it? We're gonna enjoy these hot dogs. I'm gonna eat all four of them. No. I am. <laughs> he will, it's sad. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, watch all the other NYC videos, and follow us on Instagram at these little tags right here. Beautiful. Yes. And don't forget to join me on one of our tours starting in November. We'll see you there. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye.